Here's some news you may have missed if you're not reading the Business Courier online every day. You should be, you know. P&G is relocating its global skincare headquarters to Singapore and replacing the leadership of that division by August. That change will impact about 20 jobs in Cincinnati and transfer to Singapore over the next two years. A P&G spokesman says Asia is the center for the most significant worldwide growth in skincare, and it makes sense that the leadership team should be based there. P&G skincare brands include Olay and SK2. An Asian line of beauty products recently became one of P&G's newest billion-dollar brands. Up to 150 Cincinnati Bell jobs may be eliminated here at the Norwood Residential and Business Call Center. The company plans to ship those jobs to a Denver-based call center operator. The jobs include union as well as salaried positions. Yard House is the newest attraction coming to the banks. Yard House is an upscale, casual restaurant known for its American fusion fare and huge beer selection. It's expected to open next year in a new building to be built just south of the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. The flagship Yard House opened in 1996 in Long Beach, California. Now there are nearly 40 Yard House locations across the U.S. Some good and not so good news for the state of Ohio. First, the bad news. Ohio barely earned a passing grade in a poll of small businesses. The state received a D-plus friendliness grade in a survey of 6,000 small businesses across the U.S., making it the 11th least friendly state for doing business. But a new report from the Brookings Institution shows Ohio is a manufacturing heavyweight. The state is now home to the third largest number of manufacturing jobs of any state. And also on the good news side, Ohio's tourism economy grew 6.5% last year, generating $40 billion in total sales. In 2011, nearly 9% of Ohio's jobs were sustained by tourism.